<laughs> oh my god. Oh, poor car. <laughs> oh crap. Oh my god, it's so heavy. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, it's so cold. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh. oh. I thought I scratched my windshield for a second. Holy shit. Okay, I'm just gonna shift this off camera because this is freaking cold. <laughs> so I'm sitting in my car right now trying to warm it up before I set off. As you saw from the footage earlier, I hope you can see that I chose the worst day ever to pick up a new mouse. So yeah, uh, we're gonna see how this drive goes. Is There's just so much snow. I hope the roads aren't too bad. Let's, uh, let's go pick up our new mouse. like this I really wish I brought a bag with me. I've just been in pets at home. Uh, I had to get some supplies for my existing mousies and haven't taken my mask off yet. <laughs> I got some more bedding because got kind of low on that. Got some more millet. That's the first time I've had millet space since lockdown started, so I got loads of them. I just got loads of chew toys because these mice chew everything and uh, another like little hideout thing for our new mouse because her cage isn't busy enough. I really wanted to get a hammock but unfortunately they didn't have any so no hammocks to speak of unfortunately but I've ordered one on Etsy so hopefully that will arrive soon but I was hoping to get one today. There's so much snow outside I'm just waiting for my car to demist and warm up. So I've got about half an hour drive to the breeder of the mouse. I'm hoping the, the roads won't be too bad. We'll see. Okay, so I arrived safely, thankfully, but I was just gonna say, hey, we're here at the breeder, let's go get our mouse, but oh my god, there was a point my car just wouldn't stop and it was really scary and I hadn't, I haven't experienced anything like that before. So I'm definitely gonna be really careful on the way back because there is loads of ice around here. I don't know why the roads just haven't been salted around here, so there's loads of ice around here. Around where I live, like the first 15 minutes was fine because all the roads have been salted, but just this little town where the breeder lives is just full of ice and I wasn't expecting that, so yeah, I'm just gonna have to be careful. So let's go get our mouse anyway, and I'm gonna be super careful on the way back, I promise. Uh, especially because I've got, I'm gonna have a mouse as well, so, yeah. Mm, the big reveal, here she is. Oh, she is very cold. Poor little girl. She is so cold. Very scared. Can't really get a good look at her on the camera. Come on, focus. Mm. It's very cold outside, so she's trying to stay warm, but she's very cute. 
Very cute mouse. Lovely. I forgot to ask how many weeks she was. She looks about five to six weeks, looks for things. Oh. Well, let's get you strapped in and we'll take you home, huh? You get nice and warm in your paper towel. Yeah. Oh, well, she's grooming herself. That's good. That's a good sign. Yeah. Oh, I've got her strapped in now. I think she's gone into the tunnel. Yeah, she's gone in there. Oh, okay. Well, here's to a safe journey home. I have arrived back home. Mouse is safe and sound. I think she's probably gone to sleep. Pretty good journey home. No slip ups. <laughs> Quite poor visibility, but it was okay. I made it back and I didn't slip on any ice this time. So brilliant. Um, let's go get this mouse in her new cage. Can't see her. Mm, she's hiding because it's cold. <laughs> She's in there somewhere. <laughs> well, better leave her alone now. She got water. Yeah. Okay. The neighbors make it a stove, man. Are they? Yeah. Got me nosy. He's just kicking it around like a football. Stop being nosy. There's a grown ass man making a snowman. What's wrong with that? There's no children over there. When was the last time you saw snow? <laughs> when the when was the last time snowman? you saw snow, cat? Let the man make a snowman. Okay. The cat's watching him. Just adding some last minute things to her cage. I bought this climbing peak pot. So we'll see how this fits together. Don't know. Just, just this unit on its own is pretty good. Doing this with one hand is interesting. Oh, there we go. Come on. And then I'm hoping the other side will make it actually stand up, you know. Lovely. Hmm, kind, kind of works. <laughs> right, I'm going to try putting it in. Okay, so I just put that in like that. Didn't think about it too much. Um, I've also added a hanging coconut. This cage isn't quite tall enough for mice, so it looks a bit awkward, <laughs> but hopefully she'll like it anyway. Um, she just went under that little bridge there into the tunnel, I think, so she's hiding away. So yeah, I need to add the water bottle here because I'm quite worried she might be able to get out there because she's only a baby. But yeah, it's looking a bit more cluttered now, which is more suitable for a mouse. Cool. So I also bought these cute little mouse toys, uh, chew toys. Um, 
it's important that mice have different textures to choose from so this cute little tote bag has all sorts in it i think i'll give her some of these because she hasn't got this kind of texture yet and um probably this loofah tractor <laughs> it's cute i might put this in as well actually and then she'll have lots to choose from cat is behaving himself aren't you yes you are Mm-hmm. Cute. Mm-hmm. Cozy. Okay, so added the two toys. I think I'll just add a millet spay and then I'm gonna leave her alone for good. Cause she needs some time to settle down. But yeah. I've got one two toy in there. Tractor's over there and then carrot is over here. But yeah, she should have enough to do to keep her occupied while she settles in now. Okay, there's the millet right there. My camera focuses. I've never known a mouse that doesn't like millet, so she'll probably like that. Uh, got the water bottle attached here. And um, water dish. So yeah, I um, hope she does well in here and I'll come back with updates after she's settled in. Hello. Hi. What are you up to? Are you eating your millet? You're so cute. Oh, you gone. Bye. Alright, here she is. Looking good, aren't you? Yeah. Oh god, she's climbing way up my arm. Oh my god, she just went on my shoulder. Where are you going? <laughs> Take two, here she is. <laughs> Don't climb up my arm this time. Come on, she doesn't want to leave. This is the tamest mouse I've ever had. What the hell? Come on. Come on. <laughs> I can't, she won't go down. Okay, take three. <laughs> she won't get out of my hand willingly, so. Let's go grab your new friends, huh? All right, we got Odette here. And she's our nicest mouse, so I'm hoping she's gonna get along with Tiana. Let's give this a go. She might climb out my hand. Yeah, she does. <laughs> they haven't seen each other yet. Oh, sniff, sniff, sniff. <laughs> My dad hasn't even acknowledged her yet. <laughs> oh, there we go. Who's that? Who's that? Tiana is actually pursuing her. Odette just doesn't want to know. <laughs> this is cute. This is really cute. Positive first interaction. Well, yeah, it was not noteworthy. Maybe I should go get Anna. Yeah. This is Anna. She's a little ginger mouse and a little bit fat, but it's okay. And let's see how they do. Go on. Oh, straight in there. There shouldn't really be any fighting at this stage anyway because it's neutral territory. Tiana's so cute. They're all really cute, but yeah. especially like they. The yeah, I like it. They're all solid colours. I don't have any pied mice anymore. Oh no, don't eat that. <laughs> I saw her chewing on it. I just moved them onto a smaller table so I'm kind of 
kind of forced to interact with each other a little bit more. But yeah, it's going well so far. Hello babies. I just put them in here. They're running around a little bit. I'm just gonna leave them in here until they settle down again. Oh my god, her dad stop. <laughs> she is not happy. <laughs> what are you doing? They've started sorting out their pecking order now. Um, it looks like Anna's gonna be alpha, which I predicted because she's the biggest mouse. Thank you. 